S Class featured multiplayer in the C5 vet. Not a huge lobby here, but let's go have some fun. Started basically at the back this time. Nope, I'm not doing it. Oh, he's not letting me. He's not letting me drop. Well, I was last for a second, so I'll take it. Now let's go and see what happens here. My Corvette buddy. Let's go down the inside. Keep it very tight against the uh, curb. Around the outside here, maybe. There's another vet. Saw that coming. Let's go underneath the, the crash. Very good recoveries, though. But the power down the straightaway. Just too much. Alright, the Supra is looking good. The new Supra with the body kit. F1 GT. I would love to get by both of these cars before the S's just so I don't get held up. I don't know if it'll happen, but I'm going to try it. Oh, super's wide. Super's got to check up on exit. There we go. Do not want to get held up through here. Because this is where I will gain a good amount of my time, even in a car without a lot of handling. I still make up a lot of time because I can keep up with um, most of the handling cars through there. And then let's go on the straightaway. Get some draft. Closing speed is huge. Uh, can I get the Lambo before the next corner? It's close. We're good. He's gonna get the exit though, because I can't really put all this power down. He's gonna brush me off a little bit though, but we're good. Leader isn't too far ahead. Down the inside. Absolutely send it. Park on the apex. We're clear. Ooh, almost not clear though. That was sketchy. The one thing is the leader is breaking away from this pack, so I need to get through this pack pretty quickly if I want to chase him down. Dog, say hi. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. I had to brake hard there instead of turning in like I normally would because I was closing up to them so quickly because they were kind of going slow in the corner. I would have normally turned in there, but I had to just slow down instead. Alright, where are we going? I'm gonna get held up here pretty bad, I think. Can I clear anyone before the S's? I cannot. So I will lose a bunch of time here. I can't really carry much speed through following these cars. They're not going too slow though, so it's alright. Tell that. Straight away speed though. Oh, that's a nice little sorry. Recognize that he gave him a little tap, he backed off and gave him a sorry. Love that. Love to see the sportsmanship out here. Alright, come here. Is that a 911 GT1, I think? Uh, a little early on the brakes, then let off too much. We're, we're okay, though. Ate too much curve there, it shot my front end out. F1 is catching up to me, the F1 GT. But I should have a bit of a gap after the straightaway. And I should catch up to the 911 GT1 here quite a bit too. Keep 
He does have point two penalties, so I don't have to pass him, but I think I'll try to do it anyway, just because I don't want to risk it. I should be able to pass at the straightaway. Actually, hold on. Nice. That works too. will catch up to me a little bit here, but uh, I should be able to keep this gap pretty reasonable. Your obsidian is not happy. He's dropping a bunch of things, so I'm assuming he got wrecked. Hey, the curve again is just... I'm trying to get the power down and rotate the car on exit and keep kind of the half slide. Um, but I'm just eating the curb too hard on the inside. I need to push it a little wider if I can, just to avoid the curb altogether. Touch the curb there as well. Not ideal. As expected, he caught up to me there, but as expected, we're leaving him on the streets. A little too hot there. All tires are yellow now. His tires probably won't be yellow yet because of how light that car is, depending on what build he's got. Viper vet is looking good though. Do you think anyone's built a vet with a Viper motor in real life? Have to have, right? sketchy on exit with the yellow tires probably gonna go orange pretty soon orange on the front left Got plenty of room though. Big gap behind and we're good to go. The vet taking home the victory. Looking solid. Uh, I never had a good lap, not even close, but wasn't a super difficult race. Everyone raced quite clean, which was very nice and always helpful. So I was able to just, um, as usual with power, it's easy to pass on the straightaway. So just slip by on the straightaway and away you go.